So this November, uh, Californians will be voting on Prop 64, which is an initiative to legalize uh, the adult use of cannabis for those 21 and over in California. It also calls for the state to establish a regulatory system to license the commercial cultivation, manufacturing, distribution, testing um, of regulated cannabis businesses. So similarly to other states like Colorado, Oregon, Washington, and Alaska, we would have a system of regulation for adult use. Now, as most folks know, California was the first state to pass medical marijuana back in 1996. However, for the past two decades, we have not had a state regulatory system for our medical cannabis program, which means that the only businesses that have been licensed have been a smattering of dispensaries around the state, mostly in the Bay Area. For the most part, for the past 20 years, the medical cannabis industry has grown very quickly in California, completely unlicensed and unregulated. Last year, Governor Brown signed the Medical Marijuana Regulation and Safety Act into law, which for the first time establishes a state-level regulation system for medical cannabis. This department will start issuing licenses in January of 2018. If Prop 64 passes, this is also the time that the state will start issuing licenses for adult use as well. For folks who say we need to wait and see what happens in Colorado, um, it's now been four years since we've legalized cannabis in Colorado, and so we have a pretty good idea of what isn't going to happen. Um, youth marijuana use in Colorado has actually gone down, um, as has ideas about how great marijuana is when we ask young people, so their idea of it being this really exciting thing has also gone down. Arrests have gone down by 90% in Colorado, and we've seen an amazing amount of revenue that has already started to go for programs like school construction. With any big policy change, it's going to be decades before we see the final result, because anytime something is new and different, people act differently. And so it takes a few years for us to really understand how the change in policy is going to impact behavior. But there are a few markers that we can look for right away that would have given us a suggestion that maybe this wasn't such a great idea. For example, we would have seen people not show up to work. One of the big concerns was that people are going to be stoned, they're going to be lazy, they're not going to have any motivation anymore. We didn't see that happen. Colorado, and especially Denver, continues to be one of the most desirable places to live in the country. So it hasn't hurt um, people having conferences there, people vacationing there. Property values haven't gone down. We also didn't see an immediate increase in car crashes and DUIs related to cannabis. And we also didn't see an increase in other types of crime that people thought might happen because people were using too much cannabis. So we haven't seen a lot of the warning signs that opponents claimed before we legalized, what we have seen as tax revenue. But that's one point. I think another really important point is that we don't have time to wait. We don't have time to waste. There are about 13,000 felony arrests for marijuana in California every year, mostly on poor people of color. The longer we wait, the more arrests will happen. The more people will be saddled with lifelong barriers to employment, to housing, to childcare. And we can't afford to do this to our population anymore. We can't afford to have another part of the California population with the inability to be employed, with the inability to have stable housing, because that hurts us as an entire state. What's best for us as a state is to give people jobs, to generate revenue for schools, to generate revenue for dropout programs, for drug prevention, for substance abuse treatment. And these are all things that we'll get with legalization. And the final thing that I would say is that we already have an extremely robust marijuana industry in this state. Make no mistake, legalization is not going to introduce a new product to the 38 million people in California. We have an industry that precedes Prop 215 in 1996. Now is our opportunity to finally get it under control, to make it transparent, and to assure that it's being done in a safe manner.